guys get rid of any bacterial problems going on. Uh, fever few, we've got a plant coming around. Um, that's been indicated in curing migraines. Uh, when we started using that, we found we didn't have to use Tylenol ever again. It's very effective headache relief. And that's in teacher form. Fever few? Yep. That's great because those Tylenol has all those bad drugs in there, those chemicals. If you take too much of that, you can harm your liver. Does it have a sedamine? A what? A sedamine? I don't know exactly what it has, but it sure works for headaches. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Uh, Valerian, a friend of mine, had a house fire and she couldn't sleep after that. So she started taking Valerian and then she could sleep again. It's excellent for insomnia and it has no side effects. And it's, it's a very strong herb. Some people like that. It's actually used in the perfume industry, too, uh, because of it, its very strong uh, aroma. But some people can't stand it. So that's a case where you might want to uh, not make a tea, but use a tincture form of that. Yep. I was going to say, is there anything that can control sugar? You know, uh, blood sugar, glucose, or oh, any herbs? I know cinnamon for a fact helps. Yeah, right, cinnamon. And Google? It's, I think it's an Indian herb. I don't know. And there's a tremendous amount of research going that way now. Yeah, cinnamon has been indicated for that, yeah. But that's a big problem, you know, that. Right. Uh, yeah. Around here, wasn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. I know, right, right. Yeah. Another problem, which my daughter and I have had to deal with, is thyroid illness. Yeah, oh, that's a big boy, we are in the goiter belt, <laughs> it's called. And it has to do, we have no iodine in the soil. It's also an industrial area, which challenges the thyroid. So be sure to get your thyroid check in your next physical exam. Uh, the ranges aren't correct on the lab information. Your TSH really shouldn't be over three. So be sure, like, ask for your doctor for a thyroid um, TSH test. And that's a good thing to look at. Um, before yeah. I forget, could I ask a question? Sure. Not above. Um, this is growing in my yard, and I think it looks like the fever few. Uh -huh. Want to pass it over? Yes. Yeah. And do you have any growing tips for a tender perennial lemongrass? Can I leave it outside? Or I actually haven't raised lemongrass. Yeah. Uh, I don't yeah. Know. If it says tender, that means it's going to die, right? to look at this a little later. Okay, it has the little white flowers. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's not like fever few. I, I just picked it this all wilted. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it is, but let's compare it with oh, the other Here's it's fresh mm -hmm. looking. Is yeah, I just need this one. Oh, I, I brought it in water too. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. so that yeah. probably. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. black cohosh, that's a wonderful woman's herb. Yeah. It's called a phytoestrogen. It's loaded with estrogen. So that's actually, a lot of doctors are prescribing that now for a menopause if you're low on estrogen. And it's a great one without any side effects. Uh, we have also cayenne. Ooh, yes. 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 <laughs> you like that? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great herb. And if you ca capsule it, you can take a little bit of water and you can scan it. <laughs> You can capsule it to get larger amounts, and it actually helps to cut mucus in, in the system. What is it again? Cayenne pepper. Oh. oh. It's great for the circulatory system, too. Yeah. I just made some fresh hot pepper soup last night with lots of cayenne from Frontier Spices, and then I chopped up some red peppers, some habanero peppers, and some jalapeno peppers. You're here today. <laughs> 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 Finally, he got the tongue off, 
And our other friend knew that cayenne was a stipic. It stops you eating. So she... So it did stop the bleeding, but the, to stop the little boys jumping around for about an hour, nothing <laughs> <laughs> worked. <laughs> so, but it does work. I found a rubber mallet very helpful. <laughs> oh, so, but if you do have uh, bleeding, it will stop instantly. I never knew that. Yeah, yeah. powdered kind of, yes. Yeah. That's incredible. Is that as a topical or a topical? Yes. Yeah. You can, again, you can take it internally. Um, if you're, it is good for colds, it cuts mucus. But you do, it will irritate the stomach, so you start with a little bit. Now, garlic. This is Yay. The start Yay. Uh, garlic is great. It's very easy to grow. I did bring a few growing instructions if anybody wants to try that. Um, it goes way back to Roman times. They were using it. And there are some 300 kinds. It uh, started in the Middle East, but it, of course, has spread all over the world. Uh, it is proved, a lot of research has been done on its medicinal properties, and it is proven to be mildly antibiotic, yes. and it definitely lowers cholesterol. So this is all proven by science. They've done a lot of research. Uh, it is good to take it raw. That's a very good way to take it, if you can. Uh, if it's hard to swallow for you, you can chop it up real fine and mix it with olive oil. It makes it a little easier. It, uh, of course, if it cooks, it still retains most of its properties. So you can do things like add it last, uh, you know, or don't cook it too much. And uh, it, I think that along with its um, beneficial properties, and it's also the herb where the most jokes been uh, written about it or talked about. It really gets a, a lot of uh, funny lines at a lot of places. Um, but it is one you really want to incorporate in your diet. It's, you want to buy organic, or if you have to buy herbs, organic, you want to go organic all the way. With garlic, make sure you're getting organic varieties. There's, um, at the farmer's markets, you can, uh, you can get from farmers, uh, you know, that they bring in there. Has anybody used garlic? Yes, I'd like to make a statement here. It's very important not to get the garlic from China because I know there's cyanide or something in it. Thank you, Carmen. Uh, so much garlic is coming in from China now. It used to be California, but then the Chinese market has displaced that. And they're slipping it into boxes that are approved, you know, something approved, whereas it, it is not an approved crop of garlic. And it's being sprayed with this and that. We don't even know what. And so yeah, you want to. Yeah, that's why I get local grown, and we're going to har harvest our own next year. Mm -hmm. And then plus, we got some from our friend who lives in Arkwright. He's an organic farmer. The cured garlic is the most intensely tasting garlic, and it's wholesome. And we know it doesn't have any pesticides, any chemicals, and it's not going to harm us. Yeah. Thanks for bringing up that China point. You know, it really is affecting the whole market here. You know, you want to support your local farmers yes. and get your the best uh, quality possible. So again, it is easy to grow if you have a pot or a little place you can try to grow it. So that's a good way to get and it. And excuse me, Jack, the best time to grow it is in the fall. Yeah, this is the okay, time. Uh, we, we, we can, yeah. anybody growing it? I help my friends do it. Really? Yeah, 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 good, good. Uh, we try to get ours in by October 15th. You can plant it by the end of November, but you know, it could snow November 1st. So we always try for that middle of October time. And you plant the bulbs about that deep, about four inches, or the cloves, not the bulbs. You separate out the cloves about four inches apart and uh, mulch it real good. We like to use straw, about four inches of straw. And the springtime, it comes up, you weed it a little bit, um, harvest it about the middle of July. Uh, this is a top setting garlic, so you want to be able to be sure to clip off, cut off those um, curly scapes that come up. Yep. Don't you cut them off earlier though? Uh, we when make, they're about started. 10 inches long when we cut them, because we actually use them. Yeah. 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 But you want to get those off, and it's really that simple. 
So again, I've got some instructions.